starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. We won't start digging our pirate cave today. I guess not. I gotta get this stuff off of Lassie before she goes in the house. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Come on, Lassie. There. You sure look a lot cleaner now. Gee, thanks, Uncle Peter. I'm glad to be finished before Mom got home. Uh, you can say that again. If she knew, you'd probably end up, end up. Beats me how Lassie got all that stuff on her. Beats me, too. Are we going to start digging our pirate cave today? I don't know. Just because Lassie didn't meet you at school doesn't mean we can't dig. Maybe she's in trouble. No, she isn't. Look over there. Lassie. Look at you. Boy, is she a mess. Don't worry, she'll be all cleaned up by the time your dad gets home. I hope so, because the last time Lassie got messed up, Dad said, Timmy, where's that dog been playing? In the swamp? Timmy, where has that dog been playing? In a swamp? Hey, there's an echo in this barn. Well, what is it this time? I don't know, Dad, but we'll get her cleaned up real good. This is oil. That smells like crude oil. What kind of oil is that? Well, that's the kind that comes out of the ground before it's made into gasoline. That's the same stuff she got into yesterday. Yesterday? Well, where do you suppose she's been? Lucky for you, your mother didn't see her yesterday. Would she have been ever mad? And what makes you think I won't be ever mad today? <laughs> How on earth did she get so dirty? She can't come in the house in that condition. I know. And we were going to dig a pirate cave this afternoon. Well, you can just dig into the job of getting her clean, please. What do you want to do, wash or wipe? Well, both wash and both wipe. Sure, hope Lassie doesn't get all messed up again tomorrow. So do I. Because if it happens again, she'll have to be kept in the house till I find the source. Oh, she probably got mixed up with some leaky farm machinery. Two days in a row? Oh, maybe she was just digging for a gopher and struck oil. Honest? Did I ever tell you about the time I was drilling for oil back in East Texas? Uh-oh, here it comes. Well, Timmy... <clears throat> There I was on those 60 acres of land, surrounded by nothing but big oil wells. 
so. Naturally, I figured it was oil under my land, too. Well, I can't blame you for that. Well, sir, rented myself a rig and started drilling. At the end of a week, you know what? You know what? I was producing a hundred barrels a day. A hundred barrels of oil? Oh, who said anything about oil? Just barrels. Oh, Uncle Petrie. <laughs> Maybe last you found oil on our farm. I'm afraid not, Timmy. This isn't oil country. What is? Well, let's see. There's uh, Oklahoma, Texas, California, Kettleman Hills. Those are the places that have produced some of the richest oil fields in the world. Yes, sir. Like I said, poor old dirt farmer could just stick a pick in his worthless ground and come up with an oil well. <laughs> One day a pauper, next a millionaire. I guess a millionaire's pretty rich, isn't he? Oh, yes, I think you could safely say that. If Flossie did find oil in our land, would I be a millionaire? You sure would. Not only that, but Lassie would have performed a miracle. But suppose... Yes, dear, you would be the littlest millionaire in the country. Yep, with a special man to do your chores and uh, up to well, up to 50 cents a day for spending money. Then that's what I want to be, a millionaire. An extremely laudable ambition, and one that I heartily approve. Here, here. <laughs> this is the third day in the row. I know I'm going to be a millionaire. You mean Lassie's going to be a millionaire? She discovered the oil. Well, Lassie's my dog, and if she's a millionaire, so am I. Suppose the oil isn't on your farm. We'll just take a look and see. How? Lassie will show us the way, won't you, girl? Take us to the oil. Go on, girl. Show us where the oil is. Don't you want to be a millionaire? shortcut to check our cows. We're just wasting our time. We ought to be digging that pirate cave. I don't want to be a pirate anymore. I want to be a millionaire. Aw, oh, that's no fun. Go ahead, Lassie. Come on, Mike. Wait a minute. You know, I think I'd better take a look at this oil well that's been discovered on the Martin farm. There, now. That ought to hold you till you get home. Thanks, Mrs. Martin. Boy, I sure hope my mom believes me when I tell her. Mom, I walked right into an oil well. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Bye. There, now, let's see. Mom. Come here, Paul. You're going to see a real oil well with real oil coming up out of it. Old Lake of Oil, right on her own land. I bet you I'm a millionaire now. Oh, it is oil. And it's coming right out of the ground. And it's on our property. Uncle Peter said I could 
could get a lot of money. So I'm going to buy a whole circus for myself and Boomerang. Well, now, I may not be an expert in these things, but it looks like the real thing to me. Well, thanks, Lassie. I could hardly hear myself think. Now, you two say there's an oil pool on the East 40. Well, there's got to be a logical explanation. Well, Paul, I saw it with my own eyes. It's just flowing right out of the ground. Now, Ruth, you know this is an oil country. Who was it said gold is where you find it? I'll go down and take a look at it in the morning, and I'll bet you I'll be able to tell you what it is and where it's coming from within five minutes. Oh, yes, I suppose you will. But it's such a nice dream while it lasts. <laughs> now, I want all of you to make a list of what you want, because I'm going to buy them for you. Of course, I'll buy Lassie something extra special. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to go on a shopping spree and buy all the things we need and all the things we want without even worrying about the money? Well, what's for dinner? <laughs> Scrambled dreams and oil dressing. Well, sounds great. Bring it on. Oil on this land? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Not only that, it's, it, it's impossible. Oh, I don't care if Ruth did see a pool. But wait a minute. Say it was only 50 barrels a day. That'd be, now let me see. At $3 a barrel, that'd be $150 a day. Hmm. Show me where that oil is. I gotta see it with my own eyes. Well, come on, girl, show me. It's oil, all right. Black gold. Well, <laughs> what do you know? It's true. We're rich. It's like glue. No wonder you didn't want anybody to come near it. <laughs> Lassie, you gotta go for help. Go get Paul. Get Paul. Hurry. This ought to teach me.
is it, Lassie? What's wrong? Something out there? See anything wrong? Well, you want me to go with you, huh? Okay. You wait here till I get dressed. Help! 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 Uncle Petrie, don't get excited. I'll get you out. Hurry, Paul. Uh, grab hold of this. Uh, now hold on, Uncle Petrie. to see you. Thank Lassie. She brought me. Thanks, Lassie. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> you needn't ask what I was doing here. <laughs> Timmy was right. We've got a lake full of oil. Yeah, and I was bathing in it. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Come on. A broken coupling. I knew this wasn't oil country. See where it's cracked? A boulder could have done that. I knew there had to be some logical explanation. Well, there goes Timmy's millions. Unless we get that oil turned off, there goes my flax crop, too. It's the best money crop we've got. Let's get back. I've got to call the refinery at Whitfield and get this oil turned off. Come on, Lassie. <laughs> Jenny? Jenny, get me the Whitfield refinery, would you please? Hello. Hello, Whitfield refinery. Uh, this is Paul Martin outside of Calverton. Hey, you have a pipeline running across my property. Well, it sprung a leak and you're losing a lot of oil. You better shut it off. That's right. It's, um, it's about three and a half miles north of Calverton. Mr. George Flannery. All right, I'll be expecting him. Thank you. So it was a broken pipeline. 
Just couldn't wait till morning, could you? You mean Uncle Petrie couldn't stand it? He almost drowned in that lake of oil. What? Mm-hmm. His, uh, his curiosity got the better of him, and he waded right in and got stuck. No. <laughs> then he sent Lassie to get me to help fish him out. Thanks to Lassie, he's uh, on the bar now, cleaning himself up. So the oil belongs to the refinery. Poor Timmy. What do you mean, poor Timmy? He was almost poor us. That flax crop will buy a lot of groceries. Oh, but he did so want to be a millionaire. Well, maybe he won't be a millionaire, but he's experienced the next best thing to it. He felt like a millionaire, and on that you don't pay taxes. <laughs> You're being awfully casual about this. I wish you were the one who had to tell him that there isn't going to be any oil well. Thank you. Well, he still has a chance to be a pirate. Well, then you tell him. All right. I will. I'll say, now, Timmy. Huh? Timmy, have a sandwich. Thanks. Well, that's a good start. And what do you say next? Well, I would say that it's a little bit late at night to start a big family conversation, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. You're a procrastinator. Huh? That means he puts things off. Why don't we just let the whole matter drop until we're all wide awake? Be my guest, Lassie. If anybody deserves a sandwich, it's you. Where are you going? To bed. To tell you the truth, eating at night keeps me awake. Since it wasn't from an oil well, it was from an old busted pipeline. I know. My dad told me. He said Lassie saved the oil company a lot of money. And that's too. Because our crop didn't get spoiled. Somebody's coming. Wonder who it is. I'd like to speak with Mr. Timothy Martin. I'm Mr. Flannery. How do you do? I'm with the Whitfield Oil Company. I understand you're the one who found the break in my company's pipeline. It was really Lassie. <laughs> well, your finding that break was most fortunate for my company. Therefore, I have a reward for you. Reward? <laughs> I want you to accept this $50 United States savings bond as a token, a small token of my company's appreciation. Thank you. And here's something for me. The bond is for your future education. But here's $10 you can spend now. $10? Gee, thank you, Mr. Flannery. Look, Lassie, I told you I'm a millionaire. Did you make up the shopping list like I asked you? Father and Uncle Petrie and I couldn't think of a single thing that we really needed. So we'd like you to spend that money any way you want to. Thanks, Lassie. You and I are going out shopping. And you can pick out your own presents. If I'm a millionaire, you're a millionaire too. <laughs> <laughs> 